Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at how to find the distance from a point to a line. So in order to do this, we need to find the length of the perpendicular segment from the point to the line. Right. So the perpendicular segment from the point to the line is going to be the shortest distance from the point to the line. So if you want to figure out how to write the equation of a perpendicular line, look up in the top right hand corner of the video right now and I'll put a video link for you to learn how to do that. So this process that we're going to look at today is a three step process. The first thing we want to do is find the equation of the line that is perpendicular to the given line, right? So that's like the video that I referenced earlier. You can go and watch that to figure out how to do that. So we're going to start with that today um, in step one. And then step two, we're going to solve a system of equations to find the point where the two lines intersect. And then step three, we're going to use the distance formula to find the distance between the two points. Okay, so here we go. We're going to look at an example. And we're going to follow these three steps. Okay, so here's our example. We want to find the distance from the point 6 comma 4 to the line y equals x plus 4. Okay, so our first step, we want to find the equation of the line that's perpendicular to y equals x plus 4. All right, so when we talk about perpendicular, the slopes need to be opposite reciprocals. So the slope here on y equals x plus 4 is 1. So if the slope here is 1, the opposite of that would be negative one, reciprocal would still be negative one, okay? So now we have y equals negative x plus b, and we have our coordinate up here that we can use to plug in for x and y so that we can solve for our y-intercept. So y is four and x is six. We add six to both sides and we get b is 10. So now we can put that right there. And now our equation that is perpendicular to the line y equals x plus four is y equals negative x plus 10. Okay, so now this brings us to step two. Now we're gonna take our original equation, y equals x plus four, and our perpendicular line equation, y equals negative x plus 10, and we're gonna solve a system of equations because that's gonna tell us where those two lines intersect, which tells us the point that's on both lines, okay? So we're gonna say y equals x plus four and y equals negative x plus 10, and I'm gonna solve by the method of substitution. So we notice y is equal to x plus four and y is equal to negative x plus 10. So those expressions are both equal to each other. And here we're just gonna solve for x. So we get two x plus four equals 10. And we get two x equals six, divide by two so we get x equals three. So now to find y, we can just plug it right there for x. So y is equal to three plus four. So y is equal to seven. Okay, so now this would be the point three comma seven, which now is gonna take us to step three. So now step three, we're gonna find the distance now from three seven to six comma four. Okay, so three comma seven is our point that we found that is on both of these lines. And six four is the point that we're trying to find the distance from, okay? So now our distance formula, we say distance is equal to the square root of x sub two minus x sub one squared plus y sub two minus y sub one squared. So we'll call this x sub one and y sub one or the x coordinate and y coordinate of our first point, x sub two, y sub two. So we'll plug these values in. So let's say six minus three squared plus four minus seven squared. Six minus three is three. 4 minus, negative or 4 minus 7 is negative 3. And we can say 9 plus 9. So the distance is the square root of 18. So our most exact answer would be the square root of 18. Um, but if the question asks for you to round, then you could type that in your calculator and say the distance is approximately 4.2 units. And that is how you find the distance from a point to a line. 